Spotify or Apple Music? Which one is your favorite music streaming platform? Because we're about to find out which one is better. But hey, before we start, play tape. What's up guys, Emery Nettike back with another video. In this channel we will be talking about all from the latest tech to the latest tech and software announcements. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So, Apple Music and Spotify. Let's talk about it. Both of their apps are really good and there are so many songs to choose from both of the platforms. As for Apple Music, we have over 90 plus million songs and Spotify 80 plus million. Now let's check the app menus. Both of the apps look very promising and also very organized too. Spotify has a lot of catalogs for each type of music. They even announce or tell to you if your favorite artist has released a new song and so much more. Jumping back to Apple Music's menu, you notice almost the same things on the menu but they're all only different organized and a little bit harder to find too. If I have to choose, I would rather go for Spotify because the widgets and the tabs are much better organized than Apple Music main menu and it's also much easier to use. Now let's jump into the streaming quality. Both of the apps represent a great streaming audio. If we look on Spotify, we can literally prank up the quality to the max and so is Apple's way. But if I go to Spotify's desktop version, we can even see that we have even more audio options. We can tune our own audio and we can even select one of Spotify's presets, which I really like, honestly. And that is another thing that Apple Music doesn't have on their options as well as the desktop version. But it doesn't stop there. If I play a song on Apple Music, I always have ALAC. And you may be think, what in the hell is ALAC? Well, that is a good question. ALAC stands for Apple Lossless Audio Codec. And you may be think, is that a big deal? Well, yes, it is a really big deal, especially in 2023. Not to mention that lossless audio makes a really big difference between lossless and Spotify's own high-res audio. And not to forget, we also have on some of our songs Dolby Atmos too. And that is even a, another thing that Spotify doesn't have. If you open one of, one of your music and it says right underneath the thumbnail Dolby Atmos, then it automatically means that you are streaming audio with Dolby Atmos support. Also, Spotify had really big plans for their own lossless audio, which is called Hi-Fi, but that was two years ago and still we haven't heard from them ever since and they haven't put it on their streaming services yet. So that means we gotta have to give this point to Apple Music. Spotify has a lot of visual content such as short videos and animations that appear while listening to certain songs, a built-in lyrics mode, a new feature called Smart Shovel and an AI built-in DJ and of course podcast. If we compare it to Apple Music we don't really have those visual content or short video scenes. We, we only have just the thumbnail of the song. We do have a lyrics slash karaoke mode just like Spotify plus the new Apple Sing In Feud feature too which I honestly really love. We just have a simple shovel mode and we don't have an AI DJ such as Spotify and we don't have podcasts. However, Apple does offer their own podcast services but then you will have to jump over to the podcast app. And hey, speaking of apps, Apple Music also made a second app which is called Apple Classical. I'm not sure why Apple made a separate music streaming app, but Apple always has their reasons. Most people like to have their podcast app or music separately from each other, others don't. But for conclusion, we must give this point to Spotify. Now let's check the ecosystem. Both apps represent a great system such as the search engine, global syncing and sharing songs. But one of the things I like about Spotify's ecosystem is that it, well, it simply knows me well. Another cool thing is when I play Spotify hands-free on my Google Nest Hub, it plays my song and I can change it from any device where I am logged into, even from a far distance and when I'm even on the other side of the world. And that is a great ecosystem. And if we look at Apple Music, the ecosystem is in general good for me, especially when you use a HomePod or AirPods or just have all your daily devices. Apple search engine is good enough, but not as good as the search engine from Spotify. Sometimes the song you're looking for shows itself on the search engine double. However, clicking the artist menu, the library of the artist looks hell good organized with songs, 
albums and a high quality video and animation to crank up the entertainment vibe a little bit better. But for conclusion, we must give this point to Spotify because the ecosystem represents itself much better compared to Apple Music. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what streaming app you use or Spotify or Apple. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on post notifications and share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.